Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 967 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm trying out the Benefit Cosmetics, the Porefessional Hydrate Primer. So this is a sample that I got in my September 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag. I'll have my unbagging of that linked in the description down below if you want to see all the products I got. But I was so surprised that there is a Porefessional Primer from Benefit that I had not tried out yet. I've tried the original version, which I'm not a big fan of, the illuminating version, the matte version, but I'm so glad I got a hydrate because oh my gosh, is my skin dry these days. I just washed my face and it is already so dry. So I'll really be able to tell if this hydrates. It has hyaluronic acid and shea butter in it, which are great moisturizing ingredients. And the full size version retails for $32. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit out on my fingers. It looks just like the original version. Same kind of beige color. And I'm going to apply it to one half of my face to start. Cause it says it's supposed to minimize the appearance of pores as well. So we'll see if that happens. Yeah, the texture reminds me a lot of the original version where it's creamy but also kind of like a balm texture oh wow and this has a strong scent to it i don't really remember these primers having scents to them maybe they do honestly i don't use them very often because like i said i'm not a big fan but that is very fragranced it smells like like a floral kind of like oceany <laughs> kind of fragrance i don't know maybe because my skin is really dry i'm using quite a bit but the instructions said a little goes a long way but i already had to take three good sized olives just to do half of my face but it does seem to be hydrating but it has like that mattified finish i do think my pores look a little bit smoother. So I'm interested to see how my pores will look when I put on my foundation. But so with the primer versus without it, my skin does just look a little bit more smooth and hydrated. And it feels that way too. It feels smooth and hydrated. There's no tackiness to it, which is interesting. Some primers are so tacky. Some are not at all. I tend to prefer the tacky primers. I feel like it grabs onto the foundation, makes it last longer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying it to the rest of my face. And then we will apply foundation on top of it and really see if my skin got hydrated. My first impression on the hydration though is that it did seem to really relieve the dryness I was feeling in my skin. Where I had visible dryness on my skin, it looks smoothed out. So I'm gonna see how my foundation looks on top of it and I'm also going to do a wear test throughout the day to see if this really does keep my foundation and skin hydrated. So for the foundation, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I have used this foundation in so many videos now because it's the foundation I use whenever I review a primer. But this foundation really lets me know how my skin is underneath. So I took my standard two pumps onto the back of my hand and we'll see how it does. With my standard two pumps, I'll be able to see how much coverage I get compared to normal. And a lot of times a sleek kind of smooth primer like this, which isn't very tacky, won't give me as much coverage, so I'm interested to see if that's the case. Seems to be that way right now, just from initial application because I feel like I'm getting light coverage. But it's blending out perfectly fine on top of the foundation. I don't feel like it's sliding around too much. Oh gosh, so where I had the illusion of hydrated skin, from the primer, the foundation will definitely cling to dry patches and reveal <laughs> where my skin is dry. So it's definitely clinging on my chin, which my chin is 
one of the driest areas. Also, my nose is very dry these days from seasonal allergies and having to blow my nose so much. So, yeah, this is not completely hydrating to those very dry areas. I can see the dryness, I can see the foundation clinging to those dry patches, and I feel like I barely got any coverage from the two pumps. Like, I would want two more pumps worth of coverage and sometimes I can get decent coverage from just the two pumps, depending on the primer. But also, maybe because the foundation is clinging to the dry patches, but I feel like you can see so much of my redness still in my cheeks. And actually looking at my cheeks more closely, it looks really patchy and it's really uneven it looks cakey in places wow i'm so surprised because i just recently used this foundation with a different primer and i thought it looked so good so smooth it's amazing the difference a primer can make in your foundation and your makeup and for when my skin is very dry like it is today even though this is the hydrating version of the Benefit Professional Primer. It's not hydrating enough for me. My skin looks so dry and it doesn't feel super, super dry, but it doesn't feel super hydrated either. I am not happy with how my makeup is looking. I think if they're gonna claim for this to be the hydrate version, it needs to be more hydrating. Yeah, so much dryness, so much cakiness. It looks so matte and chalky and just, oh, I need to hydrate my skin. I hoped this primer would do it, but it did not. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this out and if it worked for you, if it hydrated your skin, or if you felt like you still needed more hydration. That's how I feel. But as always, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.